Hi Taurus, welcome to your monthly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of January, I decided to extend the uh, special offer of uh, 2019 sneak peek. So if you'd like to have that chance and to know more details about that special offer or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So... <clears throat> Taurus, I do feel like during the month of January, some of you might feel a little bit trapped in the notion of reality or your reality that really makes you not at ease, not feeling okay at all. I, because I feel like some of you are called to make a sacrifice, to let something go in order to get something else. And this energy of sacrifice, sort of whatever you need to leave behind in order to be free and find something else, um, it weighs upon some of you. Some of you don't understand why uh, things must end or things must happen the way they do. Uh, some of you don't understand, you know, or accept well the nature of what you have, you know, going on in your life. And I feel in particular that some of you, this is about tough choices, love, career, uh, family, uh, putting time for family and attention to family or putting time again in your self-development. I feel like some of you have, um, you know, incompatible um, areas of life. Which means, what I want to say about that is, whatever you have going on, for example, in your love life, it could be strongly oppo you know, in a, in a opposing, let's say, whatever you have going on in your personal interests or in your material world. And so, it might be hard to bring them together. It might be hard for you to feel that you can have it all, that you can have the full satisfaction and happiness that, of course, you want to have. And this is something that somehow some of you might be, you know, self-inquiring a lot. You might be going as deep as you can to try to figure out what to do in what seems an impossible situation. You have the hangman here and you're very aware of this hangman. So you're very aware that of that feeling of, powerlessness, a feeling of um, incapacity, a feeling of um, not being able to, again, solve fixed situations the way you would like. The hangman sometimes points as well to the notion that you are maybe feeling insecure or weak or somehow, again, incapacitated to leave the way you want to live, to have the things you most desire. It's like something changing, something um, deferring from what you have expected or planned your life to be, and see your life happening in ways that maybe you didn't see that your life uh, would be. And I feel some of you are being called to be flexible, and open-minded, you know, to be surprised, to allow life to surprise you and maybe change you a different, maybe show you a different way or a different alternative from the initial one or let things be in this um, stagnant point in order for you to find the answers you need so then you know what to do and what to choose and where to go. Deep down, there could be this notion that, uh, you know, you need a lot of time to figure out something in your life. And so the timing that for you is 
the one you need versus the timing that in reality you want things to happen could be different because your deep needs may be calling for a deep healing, a deep purge, a deep renewal of your emotional and spiritual understanding. You are here being offered a chance of love. Love in multiple facets and manif manifestations. The feeling of something open, opening inside of you, in giving you and promoting a new cycle, a new experience in areas, of course, that touch your heart, circumstances that are about you, who you really are, what you really feel, where you really want to go, versus the offers of the outer world your interests in the material world, your plans, your investments, your ambition. Some of you don't know if you should choose love or status, if you should choose your spiritual path or your material path. It could be a division into spirit and matter as well. I feel like um, you know, the answer lies with you. It could be that I'm feeling some of you will be more inclined to follow the material path, to follow the path of the Knight of Pentacles and the world, to follow the path of solid, consistent results, things you can hold on to, things you can grab, things you can, you know, acquire possessions or status. Some of you might be um, investing in your profession, in your vocation, in building something that is going to influence your reputation. It could be in your business. It could be that you're thinking about moving or traveling, trying your luck abroad. Some of you tourists are considering investing uh, you know, at large, investing big. But you know that maybe to do this, to invest this big and this wide in whatever you're setting yourselves to do, maybe you know that you will have to let something or someone go. And I feel like some of you, you know, whatever you end up choosing, the process will, you know, it's not going to be this black and white, you know, understanding of how things will be working with you. So even if you choose one or the other, it's still going to be a process. And I feel like you need to be more patient with yourself and the timing you are taking to consider and decide. You might be feeling fresh, uh, pressured to make decisions, to make, uh, you know... Uh, statements to respond to communicate I feel like the more you're pressured the more you want to hide and the more doubts you have about what you're truly doing some of you are suffering in silence as well you are to the world you are seen as someone that has everything in control someone that should be seen you know with respect Someone that, again, is reliable, is consistent. Some of you don't allow others to see beyond the body, right? The flesh. There's something you're hiding. There's an armor of some sorts that it's hiding your real pain. Or just how lost you feel. How, you know, unfulfilled, how at crisis you might be with your own self. It could be that some of you are going or undergoing a crisis of faith. Some of you might receive, though, two offers during this month, and there's just that division between what to choose. Some, of the, some offer you might receive is more for the heart matters so it might be a love gesture it might be a new love coming up it might be an opportunity to connect with someone where there's that very um that very emotional engaging intimate 
connection and bond. It could be uh, an offer of love, and for others of you, there's also an offer that brings a price of some sorts. And I feel like as some of you might uh, have opportunities to um, have, you know, love blooming in your life, but somehow turning your back to it. I feel like some of you will be turning your back from feelings, everything dealing with feelings, even though it's something that it's being shown as a need and important to you. You could be, some of you could be turning away from a very deep, important relationship, very deep love. You could be denying yourself still love to pursue your goals. It could be that, you know, again, you prefer to cry in silence, you prefer to suffer in silence and to move along in the pursuit of your plans than, than to lose basically what you have been sacrificing yourself um, and in terms of work, in terms of investment. So complicated month, Taurus. I feel like um, whatever you do comes with a price. There's this notion of doomed if you do, doomed if you don't, whatever you do, there will be, again, something, a consequence for you to deal with. Just pay close attention to that division that I was talking about, because it's deeper than what it seems. Yes, there can be a conflict between, for example, your relationship and the choices you want to make um, for work or your personal um, interest. But deeper than that, there's something else. There's something else going on, and I feel like it has to deal with the division inside that exists within spirit and matter. Where does your spiritual life lead you, and where does your material life lead you? Do they meet, or do they separate? And if they separate, there is an issue to be addressed there. There's something to be discovered. Why? Why you can't bring those two parts that belong together, together. So I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.